hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video tutorial we are going to continue our food series application or food application series whatever it is um sorry guys uh, for not recording videos um for the past three three or four days or five i think um it's because i've been very busy with uh um the, the projects i'm working on um anyway and please if you like these videos hit the like button and also share these videos with your friends and it's because it's the only way you you support me and it's the only motivation i get to continue recording these videos when i see a lot of subscribers on the channel i am motivated to record the videos um so please help me reach a lot of subscribers and also like the videos share with your friends okay thank you so this is where we ended last time and we we created the i mean we designed the food item and we have a single food item here we we name it bot foods later we will change this name to food instead of bot foods because uh, it doesn't make sense at the moment so this is what we did and then we have static image for this uh for this food item we have the name and then we have the ratings and then we have all these things here so what i'm going to do is going to create a list of food and then we convert those list of food into these particular items because in the future we are going to connect this to the database and we are going to fetch a list of food from the database and then we make sure that we render those um, food items here so let's quickly go into the data folder and then create a new file called food data that that oh sorry it's supposed to be that that not uh not that okay okay so we have here so what i'm going to do is to basically create or write a code for the structure of our food item so we say class and say food and then we know that we need we need the name sorry we need the name of the food we also need the image path we also need a price we also need discount for food we also need um the ratings um we also need what again let me just create an id for this so you say I think I'll make it like that. And then in the future we uh, also we also need sorry we also need um the category for this and here all that we do is to just pass in the ID of the category to the food item and then I think that's it. You see you can see here we have been order that's the type of order we can put the type of order here because we will create another um structure for the order and then in the future we will link them because we will, we will create our database and then we will have a um, relationship between the the entities that we have so when we go into our database this will become a single entity but for now let's just assume that is the structure of of course is the structure of the um, the food so we have to uh, create a constructor that will accept this and i'm going to make the constructor a name argument because I want to specify the name of the argument and before I pass in the value. That's why I'm using the curly bracket to make sure that this is a name argument. If I take this one and then if I take the curly bracket out and say something like this, this actually becomes um, a positional argument. That means I have to pass in the 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 I have to pass in the the value at the exact position so that it will go to the exact uh field that we we have for them but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to make sure i do it this way so that this even becomes optional if you don't even want to pass in any value to it but it also makes sure that uh you, you you don't worry about the position of the arguments okay so we can just go ahead and say this and then and then we are just accepting this yeah and then price and then this count and then this right is okay so i have this one there 
and I think I should have to, uh, no, it's okay. So let's just go ahead and create a list of this food item. So I can say foods, and then I have this one, and I can go ahead and create food here. Sorry, it's supposed to be a list here with my comma, and now I can specify ID. Sorry, ID, and I'll say ID of one. And then I can go ahead and say name. If you look here, we have hot coffee. And then we can also have to pass in the image part. And this is just coming from the image, which is slash breakfast, which is here. Um, if you look at this, oh, sorry, not this one. Breakfast, um, breakfast, this one here. So we can just go ahead and say breakfast. The JPG. And then we also have to specify the category. Let's say just one for now because now we are not going to use it, but we just need it. So I can just go ahead and say price, and then I can show this and discount. Oh, sorry, <laughs> discount. I can say 33.5, and then I need the ratings. I can say 99.0 okay so i have a single food here and then i just want to add another food to the list so i can just go ahead and say this and now this time i'm going to change this and say grilled chicken and i'm going to pass in another image called i think it's a lunch that let's check the image here i think <coughs> is this one okay so I'm just using this image here. So launch the JPEG and then the category is supposed to be let's say two. Let's just assume and let me change the price. Let me just change that. So we know that we are fetching dynamic data. Okay. So now we have our list of food from this class here. Okay, so we can just go ahead and then into our in our home screen here. You want to make sure that um we have the list of food here uh for now we, we want to make sure we have the list of foods here but in the future when we connect it to our database we are just going to fetch a list of frequently bought food items but not all the food items here because we are going to create a new page where we, we are going to have all the list of food items there so for now we just forget about this one uh, we are just going to fetch all the food items there for now. Um, okay, so to do that, we have to change this container into a column because I want the the food items to be arranged from the top to bottom or in that vertical direction. So I can just go ahead and say column here, and we know the column always accepts list of widgets, not just a single widget. So I can just cut that one out and then change this to children. So it will accept the list of widgets here, and I can just pass in this one. Now, if I add another one and I save, you see we have two food um, items there of food widgets there. So I also want a space at the bottom of each food item because the way it's stacked to each other, I don't like. So I'm going to create a new. A method to return a widget that I want so I can say build paid food I think food items and then I'll say return a container so I'm just going to add a container to it so that I can add <laughs> um, a margin to to the food item so I pass in the um, the bought food item here I mean item here and then here I can just add a margin to it say edge insert insert that only and I can say bottom and I can say 20.0 <laughs> and then save this oh sorry we have to remove this one from there and now we have to use the build yeah so this is what I actually want to do and now when I save, we should have bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> so looking at this, we just have the same data 
we've not done anything <laughs> really uh, good here. We just have a button, uh, a margin at the bottom, and that's it. So we have to make sure that this um, this data, I mean, this data is dynamic. And uh, we have our list of food here. We have our list for, of food here. So we have to fetch from this list and then display it here. So back into the home screen, I'm just going inside here and create list of food here. Sorry, we need to first pass in the data that we are receiving and then the, the structure of our food item, which is this one. So we have to come here and then say import and then we need data slash food yeah so this is what we need to do and then when we create the list of food we can say give it a name of food and then we can accept that food which is coming from here so we are setting this food which is coming from there into this and now we have to just convert or translate this into widgets because this this is not a widget this is not widget this is just a structure that we are returning and then when you look at it carefully when i come into the column you know that column will accept a list of uh widget so if um if i clear this one here and i say let's say foods assuming we pass in the food you know that it won't work if you look at it because the, i say the argument type list food can't be assigned to the parameter type type of what type of mm, list widget because the children accept widgets the column accept children widgets and this is just list of foods and foods is not a widget so we have to find a way to convert this into a widget and to do that we are we there's a there's a method in uh, there's a method of list which is uh, the map and then, then the map help us to translate or convert each item of a list into a widget so i can just go ahead and say dot map and then this dot map will just accept a, a, a method here so what this one is doing here is just accepting a method here so in the and let me just open this okay so we are setting a method inside our map method so it is here so this map method will, will accept all the items in the list and then translate each item into a widget so here we have to accept each item here now when you accept this each item inside we are still getting an error because it's saying um let me let me see i want to read the error okay so the argument type are terrible iterable now can't be assigned to the parameter type list widget and this is because uh, even though we are trying to say okay take the list and then convert them into something that we will create inside here so we will create a, we will return a widget here let me just assume something Wait, um let me just say container yeah so in a sense we are just going to return a widget here and then this will convert it but when we do that um this is still not working because we have to make sure that this is actually a list so we see on the la on here we just have to call another method called dot to list and then this works so here is basically what we have here is basically a method so what I want to do is we have this method here already all that we need is to pass the method there and then accept the food argument here so let's just take this one out and then say build food yeah and then oh sorry why did I do that okay so we have to accept the food item here so food food now we have our food item here now we can pass the information on each food item to the bot food widget and then it will render it for us so what i'm going to do is to go into the bot food and then inside the bot food here i'm going to create um i mean instant variables i mean to accept 
the the the, the structure of uh, of our food item so when we go here the, the the structure is going to be the same so i'm just going to copy this side let me just copy it and then go into the board food and then place it because we're going to have the same structure there for now and then i also need to create a constructor for the board food so i'll just copy this one i just don't want to be typing plenty and then come here and then do this okay and then we have to change this to the class that we have here mod foods okay so now the error is gone so all that we are doing is to accept all this argument and then use them dynamically here so let's just save now and then our code will break okay it looks like our code is still the same i don't know why it's supposed to break but it didn't break thank god okay yes it's, it's because we are not accepting it now and uh it was supposed to break but it didn't break oh okay it's because we are not using the arguments yet so we can just go ahead and then use these uh values that we are accepting here so we can just go ahead and then clear this and inside we say widget dot image path and then yeah and then here you pass in the name that we accept say widget dot name okay and then we go inside here and then we can also um using string concatenation here and then i can say widget dot ratings dot um to string yeah okay and then this one is the price you can say widgets widget dot um price dot to string yeah and then the last one i think we can leave this one for now because um this one will come from uh, a different structure which will be the other so we just ignore this one as like i said before and then when we save our code breaks <coughs> so we have to go back to the home screen and make sure that we are passing these arguments because we are not passing it the code breaks so we know that we are we are accepting each food item which is coming from the list of foods that we have here so each food item is coming in here so we can just go ahead and pass it to this so we can say id and then we say food.id you get me and then we have here food.name you see image path and say food dot image path and then we can also go ahead and say let me look at it we have the category with the category even though we are not using all these uh all this um, what was it <laughs> okay even though we are not using all these arguments inside our board food for now but we still need to use them because in the future we are going to um use them so we still need to call them here so i can just go ahead and say discount and then say food dot discount um discount and then i need another one called the price and then rating dot the price and then we can have our rating say food dot, food dot ratings okay so now if i control save i think we should have our items and you can see this is a dynamic uh list view or list of food items here so thank you guys so this is what we have here I will, i'll go ahead and create the next tutorial um, i don't want this one to be long you know when i record long videos it, it becomes me difficult for me to edit uh, the noise from it so thank you guys and then uh, i will see you in the next tutorial thank you and then